Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am John Lo. Right next to me, we have David Sakuba. Um, a long time friend, haven't seen him on the cage for like, uh, God, a long time. You know, wow. I, I know you for almost, what, almost 10 years, David. Um, good to see you back in the fighting and uh, let's introduce you once again to all the MMA fight fans out there. Where are you coming from? Where are you born and raised? I'm born and raised in Concord, California. And right now I'm training with uh, Team Black and uh, Cross Gracie Jiu Jitsu. So. so now, how long have you been in the game? Oh man, I've been in the game a long time. I'd say well over a decade, but uh, we're getting back into it and giving this uh, another run and uh, trying to get a couple more fights in and go pro this year. So. Ideally by the end of the year? Yes sir, I've got one, two more amateurs in me and I'm trying to go pro, so we're going to make it happen. Hopefully win your belt in June and uh, at 45 and yeah. go pro on the next one. Yes, so. actually we, we do have a, um, uh, one of the fights, also 145er, the winner of, you know, either you, the winner of this fight, versus the winner of the other 145er. Nice. We'll go for the bell fight. Let's get it. So uh, keep your eyes out on all these uh, 145ers out there, you know. Uh, what do you do for work, Dave? Yeah, I'm a plumber at a local 38 here in San Francisco, and uh, just finished a five-year apprenticeship, so I kind of opened my schedule back up to get back fighting, so. Nice. So now you're, uh, you're a full journeyman. Full journeyman now, yeah. That's so, probably just get paid pretty well, though. Pretty well, yeah. We're doing but pretty it's hard well. work. Oh, uh, yeah. We're working right down in the street, the Sunnydale Project, so we're right nice. around the corner. Nice. Nice. Pretty good. And also now, um, how often do you uh, do you train? I train every night, five, six days a week. I try to grapple a few days a week, strike a few days a week, and then mix in cardio, weight training, and everything else for that, so. No, I know you fight amateur at 45, 55, kind of overlap. Uh, is that 145 is the ideal weight class for you to stay? Yeah, I mean, I like 55 and 45, but I think for the for pro level, I think I look at a lot of the top guys that are around my size in 145. So ideally, run a couple of amateur fights in 145 and then step into the pro level and keep it at 45. Do you have anybody in mind that catch your eye someday you might want to fight as a pro? Oh man, I was, I'm looking at all these top guys and eyeing them, but uh, I, we got to get there first. But um, I, I would love to get in that uh, the top level UFC guys and start getting in there with the 45s and mixing it up. Anybody locally 145 catches your attention? <laughs> locally, man, there's a lot of great guys, man. I want to get in there with all of them. So <laughs> <laughs> now, um, on this upcoming fight, you're fighting Joshua Schultz. Um, what do you think of him? Uh, he seems like a banger, he seems like a good guy. He's mostly a, a jiu-jitsu guy, seems like, for the most part. So, uh, he seems like a scrappy dude and uh, trying to keep him standing and knock him out. So that's, that's now, he, he's been only fighting for like less than a year. Oh, really? He's a, he's a new guy. I mean, he's two and one. This will be his first fight that have no shin guard, three three-minute rounds. And I know you've been in the game for so long. So, like, um, how do you prepare for guys like him that's an up-and-comer, you know, um, a lot less experienced than you. How do you prepare for Josh? Well, uh, I think mostly it's gonna be sprawling and brawling, and uh, I've been focusing on my boxing the last couple of years with the old school boxing, Dave Burns, Carl Sharrock, sharpening up my hands, had a couple boxing fights, so I think you're gonna see some improved hand work in this fight, and I'm, I'm looking to get the knockout and stop him hopefully early, so. That's pretty good. Well, this is gonna be the first fight he ever fought in a, in a three minute round with no shin guard. So uh, let's see how he's gonna perform, um, you know, because he's fought three, all three fights are all under two minute rounds. So uh, it, it make a big difference, you know. Let's see how he perform on this upcoming one, you know. Yes, um, now, uh, 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 do you, you training full time now? Is planning on the end of the year turning pro? Um, this upcoming fight, do you put in any extra work to, to, to prepare for this fight? Yeah, I'm trying to get everything, you know, grappling, striking, sprints, running, weight training, everything I can to get ready. and. Uh, Got a new camp with Dan Black and get a lot of different sparring, different looks over there. So uh, it's been good. It's been a good camp so far. I feel strong. I feel ready to go. Let me ask you a question. I'm curious. You know, like, what took you so long to being still with the amateur? Are you taking some time off or? Well, basically what happened was I got in the local 38, had a five-year apprenticeship with them, and I felt like I couldn't fully commit to fighting. So I kind of just boxed for a few years while I was going through the apprenticeship, sharpening up my hands. And now that I'm done with the apprenticeship, now I'm ready to turn it up a notch and give it give it another run. Now you get the full pay on the apprenticeship and, and uh, as a gentleman, so that's your career now, right? Yeah, exactly. Now I secured the bag, now it's time to get back doing what I love and that's fighting, so. And that's pretty awesome. Man, you, you've you been, God, I've been, I've been knowing you for so long, it's crazy. You've been talking <laughs> to you like, damn, you know, it's, I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm very, uh, a pleasure to have you back on the card, you know, that I haven't seen you fight for so long, years and years and years. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, 
How can people contact you? Um, you can hold me on my Instagram at uh, scoobs925, S-K-U-B-Z925 on Instagram, or uh, you can contact the local gyms. I'm at Crosby Gracious and my damn blacks at, uh, in Antioch, so you can catch me in any of them places and get tickets. So. Sounds good. So um, all your fan base, I'm assuming, is growing, and you haven't fought for so long, and uh, hopefully all your friends and families come support you. Watch mm. you be on the big stage uh, March 16th at the Cow Palace. This is the biggest fight card in California, so making sure you guys stay tuned. And um, it, roughly about 20 fights on the card. Uh, doors open at 2 p.m. First amateur fight kicks off at 3 p.m. So we have about 12, 13 amateurs, probably eight or, eight or 10 pro fights on this upcoming card. It's gonna be a big stack card. Uh, what do you think of, uh, do you have any special loved one, training partner, sponsor that you wanna shout out to? I also want to shout out to everybody that supported me over the years. I mean, Combat Fitness, uh, Crosby Gracie, Dan Black, uh, Carl Sharrock, Dave Burns, everybody that's helped me through this journey. And I also want to shout them out and say thanks for the love. So That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm really happy to see Dave coming back to fighting now. If your opponent, Joshua Schultz, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? I have much respect, brother. Let's get us on the show with the fans, but I'm, but I'm coming for you. And I'm, all my wins about stoppage, so I'm coming for another one. So much respect. Let's get it. Nah, that's pretty awesome. Now, um, any anything you want to say to anybody out there, friends and family you want to shout out to? Ask for the support. It. Thanks, everybody, for supporting me through the years and following me on this journey and shit. We're making one last run of this, so get ready for another run. It's going to be epic. We're going to come for another stoppage here in this fight and be entertaining as always. I want to be somebody that's must-see TV, so let's go, baby. That's awesome. Who's your favorite UFC fighter? Oh man, I like all the old school guys. I like the Robbie Lawlers, the Tony Ferguson's, the guys that like to get in your face and bang. So, I mean, it's hard to pick one, but I love, I love all them type of guys. And the OG. I like them OGs that like to stand there and bang. I mean, that's what people want to see, right? They want to see little blood and guts. They want to see people out there throwing some leather, and that, that's what I'm about. So. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. For more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This event will live stream pay-per-view nationwide. Uh, so, but trying to get uh, tickets from a local fighter, people that you like, and then give them a little bit of support so they can get, uh, get some credit for it. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. Our next upcoming event after March 16th will be June 8th, back to Keysar Pavilion. And uh, subscribe my YouTube channel. Show me, uh, give me some love and support so we can keep putting on events for all the MMA Bay Area fight fans out there. Um, any last word I want to say to anybody? Thanks for the opportunity, man. We'll put on a hell of a show. And, uh, Always. Come watch us fight, baby. Let's go, baby. March 16th. I'm Jonglo signing out. See you guys March 16th. Shoot.